Fitness and Sharks. It's Ace. And Wendy. And we hope. You're doing well. All right. So let's go ahead and get started on our 5,000 subscriber special. Even though I'm... It's 5,400. 5,400. I'm a little yeah. late. Yeah. That happens. Anymore. All right. Yeah, why are you always late? I don't know. Last year it was like, what, the 1,000 subscriber special and I didn't do that for like three weeks. I don't know. Mm, did you ever do it? <laughs> no, I, I did. I did. It was the whole thing. I'll put a link to that in the card up in the upper right-hand corner. But anyway, cue the intro. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. That's the new intro. That's the, huh? That's the new intro. Uh, this is the new intro? A little dance is your new intro. No, no, there will be no dancing in this intro. Oh, also gotta, before we get started though, I gotta go ahead and drop a quick shout out to our friends uh, Yo-Yo over at uh, Play Studios for sponsoring this video and giving us the chips to keep playing My Vegas Slots and My Vegas Blackjack all the way through. That helps us get to Vegas faster and a whole lot cheaper too, so we can keep bringing you guys more quality reviews. So, yes. again, thanks again for those guys. Anyway though, so, uh, Wendy, what are we doing today? Um, you, 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 you tell me. You, you tell me and the Spinners and Sharks what we're doing today. Mm. Yes, Spinners and Sharks. So what we're going to be doing today is we're actually going to answer the top 50 My Vegas Slots questions. Not the top 5, not the top 10, the top 50 My Vegas Slots Frequently Asked Questions. Why top 50? Because as you know, I like to go even further beyond! There's a Buzz Lightyear joke in there. No, 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 no. It's, Somewhere. Uh, it, it, no, it's, it's Goku. I just ruined the joke with Buzz. The, the clip was right there. Anyway, <laughs> though, we're going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> and uh, But yeah, let's go ahead and answer the top 50 My Vegas questions that you guys ask us on the channel every single day. All right, question number one. Does My Vegas work? No, but in all seriousness, though, uh, yeah, My Vegas works really well. It's a great way to save some money. Um, the games work; they're fairly functional, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, we've gotten lots of great stuff. We've gotten uh, we've gotten some free rooms. We've gotten some free buffets. Lots of show tickets, restaurant credits, uh, literal free money through the free play and all that. A, it's, vis a visit to the sharks. A visit to the sharks. Yes, attractions, that sort of thing. It's, it's good stuff. So. I'm going to err on the side of, yes, my Vegas does work. Number two, do you win real money from this game? Ah, now that's a popular one from uh, my Indian and Pakistani subscribers. Uh, we have a pretty good uh, following in India, pretty decent one in Pakistan, too. Not a big one in Bangladesh, uh, I'm not too sure about why that is, but you know. Um, and I'm assuming they don't have casinos there. Um, I haven't heard too much about uh, an Indian or Pakistani casino or anything like that. Uh, so I get that question a lot, I see. And no, actually, you don't get real money in the literal sense. Like, you don't play the game and then you don't cash out into a PayPal or anything like that. So in that sense, the word no, you do not get real money. That is the answer to that question. Number three, do I have to bet real money to play this game? Uh, again, no, this is not a real money game. It is all free slots. Uh, you, I mean, we'll get into a little more later on. You can spend some money if you really want to, but that's completely optional, so no real money required. Can I get a free room at the Cosmo? That's another really popular question that we get quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, no, actually, Cosmo is owned by Blackstone Group. And now Blackstone Group does own some MGM hotels, but MGM still operates most of those hotels. So the hotels you can get it at, Bellagio, Aria, MGM Grand, Mandalay Bay slash Delano. You know, you're going to get it at Vidara, Excalibur, Luxor, um, you know, Mirage, Park MGM, places like that. But Cosmo, that's no good. Number five, does Caesar's Palace have a, ver have a version of this? Not... Really? Now, is there a Caesar slot app? Yes. Does it work? No. <laughs> Can I use these rewards anywhere else or just in Vegas? Uh, that's actually a very good question there. Yes, yes, you can use those uh, rewards elsewhere. I didn't uh, even know that. Yeah, no, it's actually really great. Uh, you, you know Ray from Vacation Impossible? He came with me mm -hmm. uh, in Thanksgiving last year? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, he actually uh, had a road trip planned uh, with him and his best bro. Mm -hmm. So they were going through and trying to pick up a couple things. But yeah, you can go to California and pick up a couple things here and there. It's a lot more limited, obviously, um, given that most of them aren't casino-based. Like, yeah. yeah, you can get some sea life, like, uh, you know, remember? Sea Life in Mall of America, we went there. 
You, uh, you, you, you I, went there. I've been. I, I did not need to go. Well, with that. I enjoyed you, it. You, 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 you enjoyed it. Well, they have one of those in Arizona, so you can get a My Vegas reward for that. They have lots of stuff in California you can get it for. Uh, Borgata in, um, you know, in New Jersey, in Atlantic City, um, I think Louisiana, they got uh, Beau Rivage. I think that actually might be in Mississippi, so that's on me. Uh, but no, there's lots of them across the country, and even around the world, too. You can get some Macau rewards, too. Uh, Australia actually has some rewards, too. And so the crickets, the crickets are really hyped about this, so there you go. All right, number seven. Can I donate my loyalty points? That's a popular one. Also from my uh, from my stepdad. That's uh, Felix, aka Rapid Molly. He asked about that. Like I think the first time I told him about my Vegas, and that's a hard no. Those are those are like casino comps. Those are gifts for you from the casino. All right. And similarly, can I transfer my rewards to someone else? That's also a no. If you're going to redeem rewards, you actually have to be there. They check your, uh, they check your IDs, your passport, or your driver's license, that sort of thing there. So you got to make sure whoever's redeeming your reward is you. It's, it's just you. That's just how it is. Number nine. Can I exchange my loyalty points for more My Vegas trips? See, that's a weird question I get really, really often. Like, I, I, I never understood why somebody would want to do that. Um, I mean, I can understand enjoying playing the game, but me, I like to play it more for, uh, you know, more for actually getting stuff out of it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but, yeah, that's a question that comes up. Some people are like, yeah, no, I live in a country uh, where we don't have my Vegas rewards, and I'm probably not coming to Vegas anytime soon. So that's kind of their thing. They just want to play a little, a little longer. Unfortunately, no, you cannot change your, you cannot change your loyalty points for more my Vegas uh, chips. But there are ways to get more chips. All right, we are up to number ten. Do, do you, do you work for my Vegas or MGM? Super popular question. Some people do think, seem to think so. Yeah, I, that was a really popular question on the best hotels in my Vegas. I think that was my first uh, really popular video. Is the best uh, the best hotels in Vegas? I had a lot of uh, I had a lot of MGM hotels that came up there, and it just so happened that the people I asked the questions to were really big uh, MGM goers. So you know, they're like, hmm. Mirage is on this list, Aria's on this list, Bellagio, there's a lot of MGM on this list over here. Do you work for MGM? I'm like, yeah. yeah, I totally have a budget like this. This would absolutely be my camera and my lighting and my... <laughs> so, not, not exactly the stage. Right. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's fine, that's fine, we make it work. But no, the, the answer is no. I do not work for Play Studios. I do not work for MGM. I do have a sponsorship with Play Studios, but that's a relatively new thing. But I do not work for MGM. Number 11. How can my Vegas afford to give away free stuff? Yeah, that's another good question. Um, now, I know they, run, they stay afloat because they're a freemium game, so you go and buy some chips there. Obviously, they sell some ad revenue. That's a whole thing. Cicadas are loud. Hang on. <laughs> oh, I like them. It's too loud. Alright. Try the question one more time. How can my Vegas afford to give away free stuff? The nearest I can tell now, I don't understand the inner workings of my Vegas, the nearest I can tell is they, number one, they get their ad revenue because they, you know, they advertise in the games too. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, they get their revenue from Google, from the downloads. Uh, number three, obviously, they make their money from uh, selling chips and all that, it's optional. Uh, but here's number four, here's the thing about it, uh, casinos have what's called a marketing budget, mm -hmm. and that's where you get your comps from, so if you're a casino player, let's say a uh, woman comes in, she bets $1,000 on the Wonder Woman set. Humor me. <laughs> but the, have you ever been to Themyscira, Amazonians, they have no sense of humor, they're, they're just very, very violent people. Very violent. <laughs> right, they, they hate slot machines. Um, but no, let's say, let's say that you, uh... You bet a thousand dollars on a slot machine or whatever, and then you came out. Oh, I lost all my money, and then the casino's gonna say, "Oh, how about we put you up in a suite instead? You, you know, have a good time." You know, they have a marketing budget for that. So for every, there's a, I, I think for, I think it's like forty percent you can give back to the customer based on what they've gambled and lost or whatever. I think it's the that's the optimal number or something like that, and. You know, because you're doing something similar with the My Vegas 2, I'm pretty sure they're using that same budget over there. That's the only way I can figure it out. They have that sponsorship with MGM, and it's bringing a lot of traffic. Obviously, I've been coming to Vegas for eight years straight because of My Vegas. Uh, she's been coming to Vegas 
because of my Vegas too, mainly because of my my Vegas. But you know, hey, it's bringing in more crowd. It's bringing in more people to the MGM hotels. So I'm sure I'm sure the money is working out. They've been at it for eight years. The money is working out. I'm, I'm, they're fine. Okay. Do game hacks like Game Crook work? Uh, sure, sure. It's not gonna stop the spam comments. Uh, yeah, it's Game Crook is one of them. Um, some the Zeppis guides or whatever. It's all bunk. Go to myvegasadvisor.com. I know the guy that runs myvegasadvisor.com. It's 100% legit. He's actually a stand-up guy. He's helped me a lot out uh, with the SEO and you know, setting up my channel in the first place too. So no, my Vegas advisor that works. Zeppis guides, Game Crook, garbage. How many rewards can I use? Typically, three. Uh, three premium rewards, although you can use as many non-premium rewards as you can afford. Do I have to stay at an MGM casino to use my rewards? Not always. Now, there are some things that you, I mean, obviously, if we room, you have to. Check your terms and conditions and all your rewards. It'll say whether a stay is required. You know, sometimes for uh, buffet or for buffets, usually it was definitely a stay would be required. Uh, free play usually stay would be required, but something like a complimentary drink they usually don't mind too much. Uh, restaurant credits they're usually pretty good about. Uh, the show tickets are kind of 50-50, It just depends. Um, but yeah, it depends on the reward heavily. One day question. One day question. One day question. This is question fifty-one. Yes. Uh, what um, we we went to a buffet at some hotels that we weren't currently staying at. Correct. And they were free. Correct. How'd that work? Uh, that 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 was uh, well, you know, one of them was the was the My Vegas reward that we used, mm -hmm. and then the other one was the Win Slots reward that we used. Okay. Yeah. So gotcha. That's how that was. Gotcha. Just wondering. Just right. wondering. Hey, why are you gonna why are you gonna jump the jump the line over here? You think just because I live with you and we share a bed and all that, you get? <laughs> See, where were we, honey? <laughs> Uh, I, I how do I purchase my Vegas rewards? How do you purchase my Vegas rewards? Um, actually, I have an entire video on how to redeem the my Vegas rewards. I will link it there in the upper corner of the screen. Um, but basically, all you really got to do, you click on the rewards button, you pick the reward you want, you agree to the terms and conditions, enter your first name, last name, as it appears on your driver's license, as well as your email that matches your MLife email. Got to make sure you're signed up for that. If you're not signed up for M Life, then no my biggest rewards. So sign up for M Life, enter your M Life email and your name, your first and last name as it appears on your ID. Then they send you the reward in the email. I've said. Sixteen. How long do I have to use the rewards? Typically thirty days. Like you usually get thirty days from when you get the reward to use it before it expires. Although certain mm -hmm. certain rewards will have like a date to it. Like uh, the Luxor uh, fantasy reward I got um, when we were uh, Sin and I were supposed to go see a show last time we went, but you know everything was still closed down, so we couldn't mm -hmm. use that. But you were yeah. supposed to use that by like September 16th or something like that. How long do I have to wait to use a reward again? You know, usually until either the expiration date's gone past. So like again for this uh, fantasy reward. If you got this fantasy reward in March, you couldn't use it again until after September 16th, mm -hmm. um, or at least until after like the 30 days. It's whatever comes first. All right, 18. How do I get more chips? How do you get more chips? Um, you know, you can get them in game. Obviously, by doing gameplay, you level up usually. There's typically a daily bonus they give you. There's typically an hourly bonus that they give you. And this is in the Konami. This is in My Vegas mm -hmm. Slots. This is in Blackjack. Or again, I highly advise My Vegas Advisor. Uh, they gather all the promotional links that people get from the Facebook pages. Like Hippodrome would get a link like once a week, and then um, you know you'd get one for Konami. They get one once a week and all that. But My Vegas Advisor, they keep everything all in one little smooth package. Go there. Trust me, I've been working with them for three years. They're the way to go about it. Frankly, it's just the easiest way to do it. Far, far, far than. <laughs> see, see, this is this is why you're not allowed on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Terrible, terrible humor. Do I? Well, this goes right into my joke. Do I have to buy chips? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, no. Regarding purchasing chips, no, you don't have to buy chips. 
there are benefits if you do, like uh, more reward redemptions, better rewards, that sort of thing there. But you absolutely do not have to buy chips. That's completely optional. 20. Do I have to play all of the My Vegas games? You don't have to. If I were to do a tier system, for example, I'd say My Vegas Facebook is a must play. If you're a blackjack player, I'm gonna say that my biggest blackjack is gonna be like your second tier right there, because that's where I get a lot of my loyalty points. If you're not a blackjack player, the standard my biggest slots game is fine. Um, nowadays, the way pop slots work, I'd say pop slots goes there, and then you can do my Konami last. But if you're a non blackjack player, my Konami would be fourth, and then my biggest blackjack would be last. Because it can be a little tricky if you don't play blackjack. 21. What's the best reward to get? Mm -hmm. It's a tough one. Uh, you know, the one I use the most frequently would definitely be a free room. So, you know, if you go into, like, some of the higher-end hotels. Mm -hmm. Bellagio, Mirage, uh, Mandalay Bay, Vidara, uh, Aria. Also, all outstanding examples of great hotels. You can save, like, three, depending on when you go, three or four hundred dollars a night. Like... You know, on the on these comps over there, or you, you can even get some good weekend rates too. Like we went uh, last uh, last Christmas on the weekend. Like I think no, it was it was in January. No, 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 no. that was uh, that was to Mandalay. I'm talking to Aria. We went. To, oh, yeah, no, yeah. We went for, mm -hmm. we went for right. Christmas. Uh, Saturday, uh, yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's a good time. Yeah. Can I raise my reward limits? Can you raise your reward limits. Good question. Um, so we were discussing purchasing chips a little bit earlier. This ties back into that. So if you do purchase chips, then usually at that point you get a couple extra benefits. So in addition to having more chips to play with, you also get to do things like you get to redeem more rewards, right? Um, so after you purchase, I think I think ultimately twenty dollars worth of chips is what it comes down to. You don't have to do it all at the same time. You can do five on a Friday, and then two weeks later another five, and then another ten after that. Then you can get like four premium rewards or something along those lines. And then if you hit like a fifty dollar threshold. Then you get like the Vidara and MGM or MGM Grand and Mandalay Bay two night rewards that sort of thing. So, all right, that's something to keep in mind there. But yes, that is how you raise your reward threshold. When do reward rewards restock? That's a good question. Um, most of them restock every day. Some of them come up every couple of days and all that. The best advice I can give you is if you're on Facebook, which you have to be if you're my Vegas player. We'll talk about that a little later. Um, jump on to the My Vegas Gifts, Guides, and Giveaways group. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link to them in the description box below. But jump on there. Um, they're gonna have a restock, a uh, reward restocking thread, and it alerts you when um, rewards get restocked. How many rewards are there? Is that, is that what it says? Yep. Oh my god, it's not a. Oh, I thought you, uh, you did. You just find these? I, I, I thought no, you I, compiled them. I, I was copying and pasting things off the <laughs> off my comment threads. I didn't actually read them. Oh, well, that, that that is the question. Uh, that that's you guys a double check. That's a great question. Um, I don't really remember reading that one earlier, but um, no, great question. Uh, initially, they quoted it at over a hundred rewards in Vegas and around the world, but. It's hundreds of them, they're just, like, every hotel has, like, a dozen rewards, and then they have non-hotel rewards, like House of Blues, and the monorail rewards, that sort of thing, and so, there's, a, there's a couple hundred rewards, there's plenty. Halfway mark, folks, that's 25. 25. What is the difference between a premium and a non-premium reward? Okay, so premium rewards, for the most part, are going to be full comps. So let's say a complimentary room, for example, that's considered a full comp, so that's a premium reward. A free buffet, for example, even though we don't have those right now, thank you certain virus, you can't say the name of the virus though, otherwise we get kicked off of YouTube for some reason. Really? That's so weird. Anyways, though, uh, no, so if you did do a buffet, like a free buffet, that would be considered a full comp, so that would be considered a premium reward, uh, versus a non-premium reward would be something like a two-for-one special on a show ticket or two-for-one special on a, um, on a food or beverage credit or something like that. Uh, best bet to do is check your terms and conditions on the reward, just check into it, it's that one extra click, but it's going to save you a lot of time. Why can't I see any rewards at all? That's a very good question. Odds on, if you're on the mobile app, your location is off. Now you can only see these rewards if you have your location on, mainly because they are not meant to be used by Vegas locals, they're meant for tourists. So it has to know that you're not in Vegas. 
That's the whole reason. Turn on your location. Can I get multiple hotel room nights at the same property? No, unfortunately not. It is limited to one hotel redemption per trip per guest. So if you have a two-night stay at uh, Vidara, if you got a two-night stay reward, then you can do that, but you wouldn't be able to get two rewards that are two two-night stays to make it four nights. Can I get multiple hotel room nights at different properties? Same answer as the last one. No, not so much. You wouldn't be able to get a night at MGM Grand then hop over to Luxor. Not anymore. They used to let you do that, but... They stopped doing that. Now, a way around both those things, though, is if you have, if you have, uh, you know, if you have like a sibling that's going with you, you have a parent that's going with you, an adult child that's going with you, a friend or maybe a spouse. I, I I've been to Vegas with you. Then you would have your spouse. All right, they 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 get the <laughs> Anyway, though, uh, but no, seriously, so whoever your traveling companion is, if they play My Vegas as well, then they would be able to get a room reward as well, too. And either at a different property or at the same property. If you guys are at the same property, give them a call, combine those reservations, you get to stay in the same room. It's good stuff. What's that little lock on my loyalty point meter? So what that means is that means that you can't accumulate loyalty points anymore. So some games have a daily limit associated with them. I think on my biggest blackjack nowadays it's something like two or three thousand. Uh, the the app, uh, the my biggest app on the phone is going to be two or three thousand. Uh, usually on the Facebook it's somewhere around like four or five thousand or something like that. You can only get so many loyalty points at a time after you hit a certain level and hit a certain level of loyalty points. Uh, usually what I do, like let's say I hit a certain level on Facebook, I'm just going to switch over to my phone and start playing on my phone. I'll do the My Vegas app on my phone. If I hit a limit there, over to my Konami. If I hit a limit there, Blackjack. If I hit a limit there, go over to Pop Slots there. I'll still get through like 20,000 loyalty points in, a, in an hour or two just kind of casually playing. No worries. Go. We are at 30. 30. Why can't I see your, your rewards slash my wife's slash my husband's rewards? Okay, so why can't you see your friend or your spouse or whoever's rewards? Well, that's because some people have freemium accounts, other people have free-to-play accounts. So, for example, Wendy, uh, she's actually got a free-to-play account. We haven't put any money into that. So she'd only be able to see, like, a two-night, say, at Excalibur, but she'd get, like, a f one free night at Aria, one free night at Bellagio, so on and so forth. Uh, whereas I, I've actually put some money into the game, um, mainly so I could do this video that I'll also link in the corner over here too, to see what happens when you spend money in my Vegas. Well, because I did that, um, obviously I didn't undo the money or anything like that, so I get to keep those rewards that I can do, so I can get the two night already to stay and all that. So it depends on physically where you are, if you have your location on or not, and also if you've invested any money in the game. So. That's uh, that's basically what that usually comes down to. Can I redeem my rewards when I get to two Vegas? No. Well, some of them you kind of do. Now, I advise that you any reward that you want, just redeem it. Just purchase it and redeem it before you get there. Obviously, some of them you have to physically bring up to the desk to redeem, and that's how you redeem them in Vegas. But as far as purchasing rewards, do it before you go. It's just the easiest way to do it. Otherwise, you got to jump jump through some hoops to get it working and prove it. Yeah. Do it before you go. Just don't do it. Question 32. Should I play on Facebook or on my phone? If you have to prioritize it, I'm going to prioritize Facebook, mainly because the level ups also offer loyalty points. So then you can keep racking up loyalty points longer, even after the lock goes up. Um, if you have the option to, play my Vegas Facebook, play my Vegas app, play my Vegas Blackjack, Play my Konami slots. Play pop slots. Play them all. It's all the same pool of loyalty points. I mean, you can get hundreds of thousands of loyalty points in just a couple of weeks playing them all every day. Do I need to sign into my Facebook? Yes, you really do. Um, now, it depends on what you want to do. If you just want to play the game, no, you don't need to sign into your Facebook. If you want to save your progress, and if you ever want to redeem these rewards, then yes, you absolutely need to sign into your Facebook. Why should I sign into my Facebook? Mm, only if you want to save your progress. So, for example, if you got your cell phone and that thing explodes for whatever reason, if you weren't signed into your Facebook, that progress does not save under the Google Play Store. 
Um, and also, if you want to redeem any rewards, you have to be signed in through Facebook. There's no way around that. Does my Facebook need to be my real name? Does Facebook need to be your real name? No, it doesn't actually need to match that. What does need to match is your M Life card it needs to match, which. Comfy. Try. 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 Alright, so regarding your Facebook, though, no, it doesn't need to be your real name. What does need to be your real name is what you put in for your reward when you redeem it. It has to match what's on your ID, so your driver's license, passport, or whatever. And that also has to match what's on your M Life card, which is also required to match your driver's license and your ID, whatever you got. How can I level up fast? I don't know why people ask me this question. How can I level up fast? You bet more. That's how you do it. You bet, you, you bet more chips, you level up faster, you get more experience that way. But my follow-up question is always, why? Why do you care about leveling up fast? All it, does, it, it unlocks a couple extra uh, games that you can play, sure, but it doesn't really do much else. Leveling up is just coincidental. It, it doesn't actually really affect gameplay that much. Mm -hmm. What's the easiest way to earn loyalty points? Uh, personally, for me, I found the easiest way to earn loyalty points is to go onto the Facebook version of the app, set it to auto spin, and let it ride. 38. What's the fastest way to earn loyalty points? Um, personally, again, if you're under a million loyalty points, load up the My Vegas Blackjack app. That, that is the golden goose there. Once you get over a million loyalty points, for whatever reason, it starts locking up. I don't know why it does that, it just seems to do that from time to time. So after that, set the uh, Facebook app just kind of in the background, let that spin too, and that's going to keep giving you loyalty points even as you level up too. That's the only app that still gives you loyalty points on the level up, so that's the best way to do it. Do I pay incidentals on comp rooms? Yes, because they only comp the room night itself, they don't comp anything in the minibar. So keep your ass out of the minibar. Do I pay resort fees on comp rooms? Yes, that actually is true. So, resort fees and the taxes on resort fees are definitely charged when you use your My Vegas comp rooms. So, if you have two nights, let's say at the MGM Grand, for example, instead of paying like the uh, like whatever the room rate is, one hundred fifty dollars a night, you don't pay that. You pay the forty dollar resort fee. I think it's like, something like forty dollars after tax um, for each night, so it ends up being eighty dollars. But still, for some of these hotels like Aria and Bellagio and all that, $40, $45 a night for some really high tier hotels, I mean, compare that to what you're getting from, you know, kayak.com or whatever, and there's no comparison. You're just, you're still winning. Final 10, home stretch. How much is the, is the deposit on a free room? How much is the deposit on a free room? Oh, yes, 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 for the incidental, incidental deposit. So, depending on what you're doing, so obviously on a credit card, there's no actual hold for it. There's a, there's a hold, but there's no charge for it. It's not a big deal. If you're a debit card, a debit card user, then what they're going to do is they're going to charge your debit card. Um, it's something like, depending on the hotel, anywhere from $50 to $100 a night on average. So if you're saying it's somewhere like Aria for three nights, then that's going to be a uh, three hundred dollar uh, hold on your debit card, and they'll refund that if you don't charge anything, and they'll use that as credit first. If you charge something to the room, like uh, if you charge a margarita to the room or whatever, if you do you jump into the mini bar, then that'll be used as credit towards that. Do I get M Life points through gameplay? That's actually a really good question. Now, unlike the Caesars app, where Playtika actually does count it towards your Caesars rewards. Play Studios does not count your My Vegas uh, towards M Life rewards. Um, now I'm not quite sure why that is. It's probably because you're not spending real money. Um, that might be something that they should consider if you do purchase chips and all that. But no, that is not something that counts towards your M Life rewards. What happened to my favorite game? That's a very good question. So I, I, I get uh, I get that question every once in a while. People are like, hey, where's MGM Grand Mega Stars? Or that's the first one that comes to mind. Um, occasionally they'll kind of rotate out games, I'm sure their servers only support so many games, so some of your favorite games are probably gone, other ones will definitely stick around too, but they do rotate out games, so keep your favorite games on favorites, but expect that some of them are going to be dropped and revamped and redone. What is the My VIP stuff if it isn't in life? Oh yeah, the My VIP stuff, I got a video on that too, link upper right hand corner, probably in the description box, but you know what it is. Uh, but here's the abridged version. So it's kind of like My Vegas' version of an M Life card that's inside the game. And all it really does is as you play and you add up points there, 
it's gonna make it so that you get um, so that you get faster support and you get bigger chip bonuses. That's basically what it comes down to. How do I cancel rewards? Actually, you can do that on your own. You just go ahead and jump into the reward section on your phone. I've got a video on that too. I think it's also part of the redeeming rewards. But you go into the reward section on your phone, you select the reward in your wallet under redeemed and pending. So if it's still pending, you can just select it and then you hit the cancel button right there. It's gonna be all there, black and white, clear as crystal as uh, Willow Wonka would say. Can you play two accounts on the same device? You can, you can do that actually. So let's say for example, it's you and a spouse, you're playing a game. Um, you, what you can do is you can log out of your Facebook account and then your spouse can log into his or her Facebook account, but I mean, you guys are both adults, I really hope you better be adults. <laughs> um, I'm assuming you guys are adults <laughs> and you both have your own phone. Play on your own phone, or you know, you you play on your phone, and she plays on the tablet, or you know, you, you put him on the computer, whatever, you know, just do what you do. Can I use my Vegas rewards if I have M Life comps? Yes, yes, that's actually an excellent question. So if you play at M Life properties like Luxor, or Excalibur, or MGM Grand, or you know, Delano, whatever, if you play there um, and you have comps already. Uh, like for example, on my last trip, I actually went to MGM Grand. I had a, I had a free night over at MGM Grand, so I combined that with my two night my Vegas comp, and then ended up getting three nights, and it was a pretty good time. So yes, absolutely use those uh, my Vegas comps in addition to what you're getting from M Life. Take advantage of it. Moving on, do I have to use the email I use for Facebook on my Vegas? No, you don't need to do that. It just has to match whatever you have for MLife. So if your MLife email is first name about last name at gmail.com or whatever, then yes, you want to go ahead and make sure that matches. But you can use whatever goofy college email or high school email or whatever you used to sign up with to just do your Facebook, and that's completely separate, so you're fine. How do I cancel a reward? It's on there twice. So weird. I mean, just just sl slightly differently worded. This was false advertising. I guess there's promised these these folks fifty questions. Oh shoot! It was forty nine. It was forty nine questions. Unless you count my segue question. So I guess I'm I'm the hero because you are the hero. I I made it to fifty questions with my impromptu line jumping. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Let's go ahead and just adjust this one a little bit. How do I cancel a reward that I've already redeemed? Good one. Okay. Because that, right. that'll happen. All right. Life happens. Okay. So if you do cancel, so if you want to cancel a reward that you've already redeemed, depends on what it's what you're trying to get. Usually, if it's something like a show ticket or like a uh, or like a uh, hotel stay or something like that, you can cancel the hotel stay. The ticket, I'm not too sure about, but you can call up the MGM and cancel the hotel stay and the reservation and all that. As far as getting your loyalty points back, if you've already booked it, there's not much that can be done. You, you're probably not going to get those loyalty points back, unfortunately. It's just kind of how it is. But you know, if you if you follow my my strategies and you know use our techniques over here, loyalty points. That's going to be the least of your problems. You'll be fine. And fifty. Number fifty, big one, final one. Can I have multiple my Vegas accounts? No, I cannot stress that people always ask, hey, can I go ahead and uh, get three My Vegas accounts? I'm not sure why three. Everyone's always asking about three. It's such a weird number. Three little things? I guess it's a magic number. Mm -hmm. Three is a magic number. Yes, yeah. it is. But yeah, the shorter this is, no, you cannot have multiple My Vegas accounts. If you go into Vegas and you really need that many My Vegas rewards, go with somebody and have them use part of their My Vegas accounts. Like, play together, make it a whole thing. But no, you can't have more than my big, one My Vegas account. That's that's it. All right, and that's the end. That is all 50 questions. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for coming through. Uh, thank you all so much for 5,000 subscribers. Uh, I don't have a plan here. <laughs> <laughs> No. Like, seriously, no, no, seriously, I did not think, I mean, you can ask her, I did not think that I was going to make it down to 5,000 subscribers at any point. Like, 1,000 subscribers, I was flabbergasted. I knew. She knew. Well, she didn't. <laughs> I knew. Uh, but, no, in seriousness, this has been, no, it's been great, guys. We got lots of, lots of great stuff planned for you. Uh, working on uh, channel memberships right now, too, and actually this weekend, uh, actually Saturday... 
we're going to be releasing this. So I'll uh, I'll probably have the merch store up on Sunday. I've got five great designs up. I've got two more that we're working on. Um, unfortunately, I don't have all the artistic talent needed to finish the other two designs. So I'm going to see if I can enlist a little bit of help to get the other designs up. But now we've got some, we got like four or five designs up already and going to get that Teespring set up. I'm also in the process of finally launching the website, even though I said I was going to do it a year ago and I didn't. So that's my bad. Happens. It happens, you know, it's one of those deals. Uh, but yeah, no, thanks again, guys. And if you enjoyed today's content, found it informative, we'd appreciate a like and feel free to subscribe if you have not already. Somehow, I mean, it's 5,000 subscribers special. I'm not sure if any non subscribers are coming to this. Yeah, well, never know. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, and I think next time that we come back, we're going to go ahead and get back into, we're going to get back into Vegas. Maybe talk about that Luxor. I've got lots of interesting things to say about Luxor, and I've actually got a tour ready for you guys, too. So we'll see you then. But, uh, yeah, until next time, Spinners and Sharks, this is Ace. And Wendy. And we're signing out, and we're wishing you strong hands. And, of course, happy spinning. Happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace is Vegas. Viva Ace is Vegas. Viva Ace is Vegas. Viva!